ladies welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well so i have come up with another recipe which is an east bengal recipe and this is irish loti or taro stolons with hilsa so this is a vegetable which can be made without hilsa or with hilsa so we are making it with hilsa so let's cook so we are going to need chili powder this is red chili powder then salt we are going to need turmeric powder then we are going to need sugar and also we are going to need black cumin seed or kalonji whatever you say then we are going to need hilsa heads these are the portion of hilsa which are fried hilsa heads so my mom had fried them and uh, hence we have to use that in the recipe because from the, from the here only we'll get the flavor of the ilsa fish so that's that we are up some onions these are red onions and these are cut in julienne so they are not cut in proper julienne but yeah julienne so these are the loti or the stolons lotis or the uh, taros are blanched now in a karhai you have to give you have to add mustard oil because mustard oil is preferably used in this recipe so yeah mustard oil is given to this mustard oil is very good for you once the oil is heated i'm going to add some black cumin seed she is adding 2 teaspoon of black cumin seed here once it starts crackling and uh, it starts getting uh you know giving the flavors up in the in the oil you have to just stir it a little bit so that the flavors goes into the oil properly you can see that foams are forming that means the oil is properly heated up and mustard oil mustard oil gives a lot of flavors in your food now she's adding the onions in it they are about 3 large onions these are red onions you have to be like you have to keep in mind if you are out of india if you are someone out of india and you are making this recipe then you have to have red onions because that gives the flavor like that gives the proper flavor of this loti this is authentic is bengal recipe guys people of west bengal east bengal loves them of course people of west bengal does i mean they also love them because we love them as well the mom is born here i am also born here although our forefathers were born in east bengal so we are i also added some like we forgot to say about tell about the um the garlic so we also need some garlic that that has to be kept in kept in mind so once are fried properly the onions has to be fried properly like transparently going to add the loti or the vegetables that is the stolon i think loti is called taro stolon that is what my dictionary tells me i really don't know about it guys so it's a it's loti that's what i know and it's kind of vegetable now she is adding salt according to your taste As you can see, the onions are transparent now. Then she added the lotis, and now she added two teaspoon of turmeric powder, and she added one teaspoon of sugar. Sugar and salt is according to your taste. If you don't want to add sugar, you may not. And she also has added some two table two teaspoon of not tablespoon two teaspoon of red chili powder, and she's mixing it together. as i said you may not add sugar if you don't want to but 
we like me and my mom both of us believes in adding sugar in every every recipes because i think sugar balances the recipe sugar balances everything that you give so like everything in in a recipe sugar balances that so it does not makes your recipe pungent and tasteless so sugar is important in every recipe at least a little bit but it's important so now she is adding that ilhitsa heads which are pre fried so she had fried them before so she added that this is the proper hilsa which which will give you the hilsa effect and the non veg effect on the veg recipe so yeah all the way bengali um don't consider like we don't consider consider onion as a veg or vegetable so anything that has onion is not veg for us um anyway so she is breaking up those heads because that's how you're going to distribute the whole flavor and the uh, you know the fish around the recipe like throughout the recipe she she is incorporating those fish heads throughout the recipe like that's how she's doing it now she is adding a little bit more mustard oil so this will give a raw mustard oil effect on your on this recipe and she she has added one teaspoon of black cumin seed again this is again a kind of thing that she does often and she just tastes it how it's <laughs> how it's tasting she was cooking and i was filming now she added almost 8 to 9 cloves of garlic she peeled it i will peel them and she just grind that them with with her uh, hand like it's not with her hand with some heavy object she just pressed them and then she added it to the recipe this will give the recipe a complete different flavor and complete awesome flavor i am not kidding you guys this recipe tastes awesome just awesome and you will love this recipe if you make it it has to be something that you will love now she added a little bit of water just a little bit of water as you have seen it's just one to two teaspoon of water so that everything gets incorporated so that the flavors get incorporated that's it so, she, so she's trying to grind uh um, those head again now she will be covering it up with the leaf after that the recipe is done you just have to cover them you just have to keep it for about 10 minutes or not 10 minutes it's about 5 to 6 minutes and then the recipe is done so it is it will be uh dry in texture like it is in the video so that's that so this is the recipe guys it will smell awesome it will taste awesome like it tasted awesome because we had already tasted them so it's it's fabulous recipe if you if you want you can add more chili to make it more spicier but that's all with the recipe guys if you guys like this recipe you have to hit on that subscribe button if you haven't and you have to hit on that like button like it share it subscribe it and comment below bye until we meet again bye